Hi, crafty friends. Y'all, I was in the store the other day and I saw the coolest cathedral birdhouse that they had um, set up for the holidays. And I thought, oh my gosh, we can totally make this with some Dollar Tree items. So the two smaller birdhouses are Dollar Tree. Um, actually, the only thing that's not Dollar Tree in this is um, the um, bigger birdhouse right there. See the one with the two? That's from Walmart, but everything else is. So you can see I took off the bottom of one of the smaller ones because we had to make it fit on the top there. And then I cut it apart so we could make another roof because not only are we gonna have it on the front, but we're gonna have it on the sides. So here's where I kind of start stacking the birdhouse. And then, like I said, we're gonna do some stuff on the side. So that's why I got those boxes, um, the little jewelry boxes at Dollar Tree, um, like the gift boxes. And I thought, ooh, we can make those into one of the sides. And then the other side will end up cutting um, that smaller birdhouse in half and we will um, put that on the other side because the the um, one that I saw was all the way around. So I thought, mm, well, we can totally do that. So once I got this, um, this is just the top part of the box. Um, I Once I got that cut off, then I kind of put the um, roof on there and just kind of, you know, traced it out. That way I could cut it and then we'll get that all hot glued and ready to go. Now, I love that these have the little circles um, for where the birds would go in. And you guys, on the one that I saw, it was kind of like raised wood around it. And I was like, we don't have anything like that. Um, I was thinking of Dollar Tree stuff and I was like, well, I think I came up with an idea. Oh, and these tongue depressors, sorry, or, you know, craft sticks, whatever they're called. Those big wide ones are from Dollar Tree. So here's the idea, you guys. These are those little wood rings from the Dollar Tree. Now, we're going to put those on. Mm -hmm. We're going to do one on the front, and then we're going to do the one on the sides. So now I needed to spray paint, because we're going to actually paint this red, but I needed kind of that base layer, and I thought spray paint would be the fastest way. And then here's where I was like, uh-oh. I think this is too red. You know, do you have that moment when you're crafting? You're like, Eek, I don't know if this is going to work out because it was like super primary, but this is the only red that I have. So I thought, well, we're just going to go with it because we're actually going to add faux snow to this. And so I was thinking, how can we do that? Well, Epsom salt. So you can see it's still wet. So at first I just started sprinkling over the Epsom salt over the wet paint. And then Dollar Tree has those little bottles of spray adhesive. So once I got on all the parts that I wanted, I used the spray adhesive and went over the top of it, added some more and went over the top of it again. Now, because that Epsom salt is down in that tray, you guys, and then the spray adhesive over it, it almost made it chunkier. So I added that on too. And look how beautiful it turned out. Eek. All right, here's one side, here's the other, and then all of it together. You guys, I am in love with this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to follow for more.